of Science, all new, tonight at 9, on Science and on the app. Celebrate the 4th at your look. It's free today. Hi, I'm Jesse, and I'm back. A phone was in my pocket! Sugar in the donuts and lime. You talk about... Uh, Forever about all the problems with a one coat coverage guarantee. Benefit. It's Ashley Home Store Stars and Stripes event. Celebrate with savings up to 25%. Eventually at baseball games. Peanuts have been a fan favorite ever since. More than a snack, truth be told. They're a big part of the sports experience. Watching baseball without a hot dog <coughs> should be illegal. Smothered in onions, relish, and mustard nestled in a soft bun. The hot dog's always a grand slam. But how did Frank here manage to land season tickets to the ballpark? Did the hot dog make baseball a hit? Yes, sir. The hot dogs at our concession stand do rate an appreciative whistle. Ballparks and Frankfurters. A marriage made in heaven, right? But how did this perfect pairing come to be? In order to trace the origins of the ballpark dog, we need to know how the sausage is made. Good. Sausage and classical literature don't seem to go hand in hand, but sausages are mentioned in Homer's epic, The Odyssey, written around the 8th century BC. And there was even an ancient Greek comedy called The Sausage. One Plato rots, please! By 64 AD, the sausage had migrated to Rome. Emperor Nero's cook, Gaius, made them with game meats, spices, and wheat. These pups were the stars of Nero's legendary sausage festivals, which frequently devolved into scandalously wild parties. So when the conservative Christian emperor Constantine came to power, he banned brats completely. This sausage party is over! In time, sausages made their way to the German city of Frankfurt, where they were treated to a handsome 12th century makeover. The old, the Frankfurter. Slightly curved, spiced, and smoked, made of one type of meat, usually beef. In 19th century Vienna, Austrians began making sausage with both beef and pork, calling it the Wiener first. German and Austrian immigrants packed up their sausages and came to America, and soon began selling frankfurters and wieners from push carts. But these foreign footlongs weren't fit for a one-handed ballpark meal just yet. They were missing one important ingredient, the bun. And if there's one person who can set the record straight, it's Chicago chef Jeff Mara. There are many tales out there about how the sausage found its bun. But the most likely story comes out of St. Louis in the 1880s. And he sold frankfurters, also known as red hats. And he had to hand out white gloves to his customers so they wouldn't burn their hands or get too greasy. But I know. The problem was this was affecting his bottom line because people were walking away with these white gloves. So he needed a solution to the problem. He went to his brother-in-law, who happened to be a baker, and he said, Brother-in-law, please help me. I'm losing all this money. And his brother-in-law suggested, Ha-ha, why don't you serve your sausages on a soft roll? The hot dog was born. Sorry about that. Sausage business. It also opened the door to a new team of starters, the condiments. Mm. Pretty much anything can go on a hot dog. Primarily mustard, onions, relish, maybe some peppers. Beyond that, mm. it's into a whole other category. What shouldn't go on mm. a hot dog ever, ever, ever is ketchup. And I will not budge on this. As far as I'm concerned, it's wrong. Ketchup is just too huh. sweet. It's too tomatoey. There's too many different strong, sharp flavors in ketchup. You need smooth, spicy, funky flavors. Ketchup for children and french fries. Let's be frank. Jeff's got a point. With a fully dressed sausage in a bun, the hot dog was now primed to jump from white glove to baseball glove. So how did this handy little sausage save the game of baseball? Find out next on Food, Fact, or Fiction. We'll get some flour onto our work surface. The 
represent on the hotel you want. Ten dollars a month and help us provide the program. So Brandon, I, I thanked him. Have the skirt go all the way around. You get that, that. Don't want you struggling with pain anymore. Now there's easy things that you can do. Place on your back support, compression right where you need it, in that lower back, around the belly area. It's making you stand a little taller, a little firmer, and look, instead of slumping at your desk, you're standing straight. You feel good, right? That translates to a happier life, a pain-free life, and a more active life. You know, get out. This is the time of year that, that we want to be outside. We want to enjoy it. We want to do our gardening. We want to do our barbecue. We want to sit by the pool. We want to do all of those things. This is going to help you to live life without limits. For $21.95, yeah. get it home and experience it. You're not only going to get that, that copper fit back support that has your compression that is infused with your copper, but on top of that, you're getting that huge gel pack as well. It must be it's, it's at least 11 inches, if not a, a full foot to, to this. Three flex payments if you want to put it on that. Almost $1,300 already, already ordered. Grab yours now and get it home. You'll either choose the small, medium, or you'll choose the large, extra large. You're going to be back at over your makeup, fills in those lines, fills in those cracks. This is going to create that long to land. There better be several. The battle is about to set. Why don't we start with my stateroom? What was I supposed What was I supposed to do? Let's take a leak. This worked out. So we had been, I've been enough. Oh, you could choose from a large network. I've also served. Three investments. You reach. How I wait for the weekend. Sarah on the left. See you tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. sure. Oh, I want to just run off at the Salvation Army. Time. <laughs> to the digestive system, undigested. And it causes so many problems, not just wow. the blow. In her kid, get off the Cover it. That's one eight hundred. And serve it with fries for just one ninety nine. Patients that prescribe can help it. What I mean, what do you want me to say? If you asked me, I'd say no, you've never liked it. Two. Uh, and this is Dove Kettle. That's the way he's going to make it.